You're listening to Daily Mana Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by this morning or afternoon or evening or whenever you're listening to this. Could be now, could be years later. Who knows? YouTube, the internet is forever, right? I guess that's one positive thing is that uh, stuff like this stays out there forever. Uh, We all know the negative sides of it, but that's a positive thing. While I'm thinking about it, um, this is just something that was on my mind, so I figured I'd uh, put it in here. A shout out to my grandpa and grandma. Uh, my, my parents are Christians, and so there's, there's credit to be given there, and obviously credit to be given to God. But you know, uh, now that we've crossed 50 subscribers, I was just thinking about uh, you know, what, what started our family uh, of Christians, I guess you would say, because me and my brothers, uh, my mom, even my dad probably was influenced by my mom. Uh, just a, a lot of people that have come to become <laughs> come to become Christians uh, by way of my grandparents. So I think it's pretty cool. I can't even imagine how many lives that have been touched through the church that they attend uh, or the one before that or uh, all, all the different lives, but I know that my my parents, uh, my brothers, all of our kids, um, their other kids, my grandma and grandpa's other kids, my aunt and uncle, their families, so many families, and then their kids and their grandkids, all Christians, um, and I think a lot of the credit goes obviously to God, but also to them, because if it wasn't for them being Christians and going to uh, church and you know instilling those beliefs into my mom I might not be here I might not end up in heaven might not be touching lives through this YouTube channel um, for the foreseeable future uh, I just think there's there's credit to be given there and my grandpa is the original man of maker he's the one that put these devotions into writing and sent them out through his ministry and I just read them and put them on YouTube so credit where it's due Thank you to my grandpa and grandma for uh, being the Christians and and awesome, having the awesome ministry that they've had uh, for many, many years now and all the lives that they've touched. Um, Definitely thank God for you guys both and love you very much. So anyway, it's enough rambling. A true friend, scripture, a friend loves at all times and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Proverbs 17, 17. I have a friend named Nelson. We work together, play together, cry together, and often laugh together. Our friendship keeps growing. I re- recently, Nelson said he wanted me to conduct his funeral if he died before I did. I said, hold off on that request a few years. I might disappoint you and you might change your mind. Oh no, he quipped. That won't happen. You can't disappoint me any more than you already have. <laughs> we had a good laugh, but I began pondering his comment. Isn't that what it means to be a true friend? Knowing the disappointing side of a person's life, yet continuing to accept him. Solomon described such a friend as one who sticks closer than a brother. One who loves at all times. We all need someone like that in our lives. Jesus wants to be that kind of friend to us. When we admit our sinful disobedience, ask for his forgiveness, and submit to him, he becomes our true savior and friend. Because he took the penalty of our sins upon himself on the cross, nothing we've done or may do will turn him away. Jesus is one friend you can't afford to be without. Is he your friend? Christ is the truest friend you can have. Dennis Dehan. This devotion comes out of Annie Walks With Me, devotional by Our Daily Bread Ministries. I love it. Jesus is a great friend. Thank you guys for listening. Have a fantastic day. God bless.